Okay, the first thing to do with the vectors question is to mark on the key points. CD equals A. And the direction matters, so it's important to mark on the arrow C to D. D to E equals B. F to C equals A minus B. Express FE in terms of A and or B. Give your answer in its simplest form. F to E, we don't have a vector going to hit from here to here directly, so we, we can go around this way and it's equivalent. A minus B plus A plus B. And there are two marks for this, so it's important to write all of this down to show where your 2A comes from. M is the midpoint of DE, so that means these vectors here are both a half B. X is the point on FM, such that FX to XM equals N to 1. I'm going to write these as fractions on this line. So if the uh, line's divided up in the ratio N to 1, this part is N over N plus 1, and this part is 1 over N plus 1. CX is in a straight line, work out the value of n. So this is a really important piece of information when it comes to trying to work out the value of n. I'm going to mark on that straight line in the diagram there. Because it means that any vector um, in it, all of these vectors are going in the same direction. So C to X, X to E, and C to E are all heading in the same direction and I'm going to demonstrate how that works with a more simple diagram over here. This is a straight line uh, with the points P, Q, R on it and say this line is split in the a ratio 1 to 3 so this is a quarter of the line and this is three quarters of the line. If the vector going from P to Q was say 2a plus 10b, then the vector p to r will be 4 times that length, so it will be 4 times pq eight a plus 40b. So if I just relate the coefficients of a and b to each other, the coefficient of b is 5 times the coefficient of a, and the coefficient of b here is 5 times the coefficient of a. And that's always the case when two vectors are heading in the same direction. If you divide one component by the other, it will always give you the same number for each. So we're going to use that fact to work out n. And I'm going to compare the vector c to e with the vector c to x. I could use x to e. Um, equally, it's just that I've chosen that one and I'd get the same answer either way. So first of all, the vector C to X, uh, C to E. So that's equal to A plus B. Oh, well, that works out quite nicely because the coefficients of both of these are just one. That means the coefficient of A is equal to to the coefficient to b, and so that's what we'll be looking for in the vector c to x. First of all, to plan the root, c to x is equal to c to f, and then f to x, which is a fraction of f to m. So I'm going to write that straight away as a fraction. The fraction is n of n plus 1 of f to m. I could go around this way, but that's three vectors, so there's more involved and more room for error. I don't know the vector f to m, so fm I'm going to work out now. So I don't have this vector, so I'll go around this direction. a minus b plus a plus a half b. a minus b plus a plus a half b is 2a minus a half 
B. So now CX equals CF, which is the negative of this, B minus A, plus N over N minus one, N plus one of Fm, which was 2a minus a half b. I'm going to multiply out this bracket, so 2n over n plus 1 for the a component, minus, and that 2 in the denominator can go here, so I have n over 2n plus 1b. I'm going to collect together the components, so this one first, 2n n plus 1 minus 1a plus 1b minus n over 2n plus 1b. And then I'll put them together each as one fraction. So um, we need to multiply this one numerator and denominator by n plus 1. So 2n minus n plus 1. Good idea to put that in a bracket as there's a negative and there's lots going on so it's easy to make a mistake otherwise. Multiply this one by 2n plus 1. And now I can equate the coefficients. Remember that as these two, as these vectors are going in the same direction, CE and CX, if these components are equal to each other, so will these be. So first of all, I'll um, simplify and make them, then I'll make them equal to each other. So 2n minus n, so n minus 1 over n plus 1 will be equal to n plus 2 over 2, n plus 1. Now I can multiply both sides by n plus 1 to cancel out those and multiply both sides by 2. So multiplying this by 2, 2n minus 2 equals n plus 2. And so n is equal to 4.